guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing with you five tips to coming back from a setback, whether it's a diet setback or a commitment to exercise or a plan to save more money and do more things or save for a trip or whatever the case may be. You can apply these five tips to get back on track when you have a setback. But I have a question for you. Can you handle the truth about setbacks? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Well, come on and let's get into it. The first thing is that when we have setbacks, or let's just say, I'm sure that many of us, or maybe even most of us, have, have planned to make commitments to ourselves, whether it's for diet reasons or for nutrition or commitment to exercise or save more money or do something differently for the better. And when we make those commitments, the thing to keep in mind is oftentimes we have a great idea where we have a goal set, but we don't have it right in the forefront of our minds. We forget about it and we go on with life and continue and then look back a few months later and say, gee, I wanted to lose weight, but then life got in, in the way. So the first thing is to remember what the goal is. Let's say you want to lose 10 pounds or 20 pounds. You keep a record of it and you might weigh yourself and begin a nutrition program. By the way, uh, it's best to seek outside help from a professional when it comes to nutrition, just um, putting that out there. So um, I'm not giving diet advice. I'm just sharing my experience with you all. So that's tip number one, to stay focused on what the goal is. And what I like to do is I keep dry eraser boards all over the house and I write little blips down. Um, tip number two is to remember what the focus is. For example, if you're looking to lose weight or changing your nutrition plan, that you have the items that you need to do to be successful with your goal, which would be maybe going shopping and making sure you have the right foods available and also meal prep. That's, um, you know, so to focus on the solution, it's also important to have supportive family and friends in the equation. That's always helpful. That goes without saying, but um, the third tip would be to push past the setback. You know, acknowledge that you might have fallen off the wagon, whether it's off the diet. You haven't done your exercise like you said you wanted to do. Maybe you're doing it two days and you want to do it three or four days, and you just didn't get into it. You you weren't able to do it. But I remember when I was in graduate school, I had one professor say, this was when, this was an exercise physiology course, and she said, you know, when we're talking about getting clients motivated into exercise, and one of the points that she made that I never forgot was, we only make time for what we want to make time for. So if you really want to lose weight or get more involved in exercise or save money or whatever the case may be, you make time for that and for yourself. And remember, you're important enough to make that a point. Tip number four is really, it's a key point actually. And if you can do this, it's... I highly recommend it. And that is simply having a buddy, either it's your spouse or your good friend or your best friend or whatever the case may be. That is a really good tip. And then tip number five is if you have um, challenges with this of staying on track and um, if you have chronic setbacks, maybe you need to consider professional help with it seeing a nutritionist for a diet plan or even a psychologist if you um, have challenged constant challenges um, and also too if it's to do with exercise that you have a trainer or somebody if you can and also too um, 
I've shared this in the past that I do have um, an eating disorder and I am a member of Overeaters Anonymous and have been for many years. And I found that that program really helps me um, continuously. It's, it's a continuous thing. It's not like you go there and then you're done with it. It's a process. And so if you have any interest in Overeaters Anonymous, I will leave the clickable link down in the description below this video, as well as um, a clickable link to dietdoctor.com. And um, these are a couple of different um, support systems that I have used and continue to use presently that may be helpful to you. So um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. It's so good to be back. And uh, we'll see you soon. Over and out. Ciao for now. And I'll see you in the next one.